Hello and welcome to this brand new series of hours where we're going to cool locations to go and make sure that you understand what our cool friends, where they work and everything else that goes with it. And today, I don't think we can get to a cooler place. I think the location's amazing. We've got a dog bed down here. This doesn't get any better. So please introduce yourself, explain what it is you do, where you're from and everything else, and we'll get straight into the interview. Go for it. Hey guys, I'm Bogdan, founder of here at Apron. And um, yeah, thanks for having us today. We are so excited. And today is a big day, isn't it? It is. Today is Aprim's receipt capture launch to the public. It's been in beta since fab, yeah. back in February. It was in alpha testing for a while before that. And I've had the privilege to be able to play with it since alpha testing and feedback and watch Charlie Khan's feedback on a WhatsApp group, which <laughs> software developers hey. have the patience of a saint. <laughs> I've seen his receipt capture for QuickBooks, so yeah. I feel like I've been using it forever, but obviously users are now got just able to go in and sign up themselves as of today. That's right. So receipt capture, let's be honest, crowded marketplace. Yeah. Some very well-established big players in that space. What made you think, oh, that's a bit of the marketplace I need to get a piece of? Yeah, yeah. Great question. Great question. Um... So our, at some point, our customers started pinging us with emails. Hey guys, like we have a problem here. Like inverse capture, like isn't doing what it's supposed to do, or there were a bunch of other issues. So and at some point, we just uh, we were getting a lot of those emails. So we, we started looking into it, and then it turned out that although capture tools were around for 10, 15 years, uh, they're far from perfect, right? And uh, like this, this whole domain didn't see much innovation in the past 10 years. So we started talking to customers. And we can discuss where it led us, but that was the beginning of Apron Capture. Cool. Oh, I love it. And your timing seemed to coincide with what is now one of your competitors doing a dramatic price rise. Yeah. Did that accelerate things? Did you sense there's now going to be a hole in the market for a more affordable solution? And people might be more interested in doing it now. And did that bring your plans forward a bit? Or were you always looking for this release anyway? Competitors rising prices is not like I would say it's it's a um, implication of a more fundamental problem, which mm -hmm. is people stopped innovating, right? If you don't innovate, how 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 do you grow? You grow yeah. through raising prices. And if you've not got any competition, and you're kind of stalemated with the competition you do have, mm. then you stop innovating because it means spending money and yeah, costing profits down the drain. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. so kind of. Pricing rising in the market that gives us nice tailwinds, but we would start doing it anyway because right. the fundamental problem is like there are no good products in. We think there are no good products in this market. Yeah, I mean, the competition they do a good enough job yeah. considering their technology is based on five, ten-year-old technology. Mm -hmm. You guys have got this huge advantage coming in with the latest technology, where you're taking AI from the day that you start with it, whereas your competitors have got to take the AI and try and convince their old technology to run it. And that could be a real huge integration issue for them. Yeah, totally. Manual integration with yeah. most, of the, most of the OG ones, weren't they? There's yeah. actually a person sat there. Yeah, it's good to go. Yeah, totally. Yeah, th this definitely gives us massive advantage. Uh, that's kind of one big thing. Uh, another big thing is we think we're now in this kind of phase of we're past digitizing things. There are, like everything is digitized. There are no paper invoices almost, stuff like that. But we ended up with a bunch of point solutions. One app for receipt capture, one yeah. app for payments, one app for this, for that. And we think we're in this phase of uh, like second wave of um, revolution uh, in the market, which is humanizing things, right? Humanizing experience. And we paid a lot of attention to our product design, keep it super simple, super user friendly. And the uh, trick here is to have enough product designers on the team. It's like when VCs ask us about like, there's build.com in the US, you know, and it's been around for 15 years. Why, why all of a sudden you cracked that in, in Europe? Like my best, my best answer to this question is we have enough product designers on the team. Yeah. Simple as that. And you sit there and listen. Yeah. That's yeah. the difference. And I think that's the exciting bit when we first heard about you coming to the, to the forefront with receipt capture, because we both have been raving beforehand of how the payment solution just works. And when it comes to paying bills, I will argue and will argue until the cows come home, that there isn't a more slick process out there, right? No. Like the apron process of let's just make a payment and let's make it work. And that gives us confidence that means that our clients can adopt the technology because it just works, right? Yeah. And the fact that you guys were then going, 
right, well, let's take that the next step. Let's think about an ecosystem. Let's think about extracting the data ourselves. Our first thought was, well, this is going to be really easy for the client to use. And that's the most important thing, right? If you can get the adoption of the of it, well, it doesn't matter how. And yeah. And yours is really strong in terms of it being accurate and everything else. But more than anything else, it's just from day one, it's user friendly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, you're doing something that everyone else is doing. Yeah, you can email it in, you can drag and drop on the web browser, you can use the app, and it's quicker than everyone else. But on top of that, you've gone, how, how would clients like to get this in? Well, our own team would like to WhatsApp us the documents. That's what everyone uses in the UK now for communication is WhatsApp. Yeah. Let's give them that ability. And my clients love that. All of a sudden, we're seeing more documents coming in quicker. Yeah. Like, because it's easy to just go, I'll WhatsApp on, that onto them. I'll WhatsApp that onto them. Like, it's easy. But yeah, so it's not like you've just come in and copied and pasted everyone else's. You've actually come and put a bit of innovation behind it. But what's very clever, I don't know if you've seen this in your firm yet, but we've now got clients that have been dead set against payment solutions, now interested. Ah, interesting. So like, it's great to hear. I've got like this lady who runs a bistro in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. Absolute mammoth success and looking to open a second branch and for the last three years one of my team has to ring her around on one day every single month go through these all your open bills that haven't been paid by direct debit or any of them in dispute right these here's a spreadsheet now of what you need to pay and she'll then sit there and pay them all and we've been going on and on and on for ages about you know this would be quicker if you used an app if you use this tool, I don't want to use it at all. I don't, I'm quite happy with what I've got. All of a sudden, now we've installed Apron for receipt capture. She's like, oh, this has got payments built into it. Yeah, That's it has. Cool. So actually, we've now got a better value added service to her. We've convinced her because it's in the same ecosystem that she's now using. Whereas beforehand, it was just a flat, no, I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like with SMBs, we uh, often uh, say that Product simplicity is table stakes with SMBs. Like if your if your product is not simple enough, you don't you, you don't stand a chance of kind of getting into their lives, and that's because like you're very much aware of their reality. It's like constant like operational hell, you know, keeping keeping lights up and things. When uh, people join Apron Team for the first time, we uh, ask them to watch the series called The Bear. I don't know if you saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we looked at it. Yes, yeah. yeah, as an onboarding thing. So that they understand, you know, what's the reality of small business uh, of small business looks like. Yeah. And then, like, if if you have that image uh, of of uh, Carmi, the the main character in, in mind, you know, how on earth Carmi is gonna have, you know, one app for capture, one app for payments, one app for yep. this for that. So there's no way. So like, keep it simple, bring it all in one, and then like you have a chance at least. So that resonates a lot with what we see too and how we think about it. Love it.